Let's go in and engage it. Your boy Chris has been a long time, man. God damn it. Hell yeah, man. Yippee ki yay, man. You know what the fuck I mean? Today we have a reaction video, guys. Other action video. And it's gonna be beautiful. We are going to be reacting to Mike Tyson, guys. You know. <laughs> you know, like something like that. You know, combo. When Mike Tyson confronted. Confronted. Fuck my English, man. When he fought uh, a gangster, you know. A real life gangster who like a leader or something so yeah let's go guys okay so when a gang leader confronted tyson actually um you know infamous to fight saga between tyson and gang leader mitch pot green okay i'm gonna this is gonna be a fight tyson and you know it you hit me i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna kill you Welcome back to the Big Fight Recap here on BLTV Classic. He pulled his glasses off. Did you see his eye? His eye was just hanging out of his head. On today's video, we revisit the infamous two-fight saga between... I just want to say Tyson, Tyson is so fucking insane, man. And he's, you know, the, the baddest man on the planet, obviously. And that's, uh, that's what what he's called for a reason there's a reason why, why he's called that way i mean mike tyson and mitch blood green a genuine beef that 10 rounds of boxing couldn't squash as the two would face off one more time on the street this time in a much shorter affair with the decisive victory let's get right to it After Tyson's 10 round decision to James Quick Tillis in 1986, the invincibility aura from Kid Dynamite took a slight knock as the two heavyweights battled out a much closer fight than the boxing fans and bookmakers expected. How disappointed are you that the knockout string is over? Not at all. If anything, I got, you know, I feel relieved and I'm confident if I wanted to, I couldn't have knocked them out. It was Tyson. Well, Tyson is so, f he's so fucking, you know, these combos that he's doing, he's just insane to watch and it's so satisfying that. The, the the power the speed you know the movement of his feet in the ring i mean i just love watching you know some retro tyson fights he's uh, always you know he's really 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 insane i'm not gonna hesitate i mean i mean to say you know he's if not the best fighter of all time boxer i mean not fighter tyson's first time going the distance you know Muhammad Ali, but Muhammad Ali is Muhammad Ali. But after that, it has to be Tyson, right? As he had finished his previous 19 opponents all inside the opening two or three rounds, that gave some of the other heavyweight contenders an incentive to catch this teenage dynamo early, halt the hype train, and earn the highest possible payday outside of a championship fight. Tyson said, "Gonna give me a fight. I want Mike Tyson." Point blank, Michelle Tyson. He's a mo. I'm gonna knock him out. Mitch. Okay, that's not cool to say. I mean, to Tyson, that is not cool to say, man. That's just a red flag for you, man. Blood Green was one of the first fighters to utilize the new age of digital camcorders to get his message out there to boxing fans. Now, I'm going to show you some feast your eyes on a real heavyweight. There was no social media in those days, but local news stations and televised sports networks, such as HBO, would air the clips during a broadcast to gauge the fans' reaction. What's the power? <laughs> It's probably due to audio compression over time, but I can honestly say I have difficulty understanding what Mitch Green is saying. Two clear things with a muscle flexing and homophobic slurs, and bizarrely enough, as far as my research suggests, this was enough to land him a shot at the hottest prospect in world boxing. Growing up on the tough streets of Detroit, Mitch Green was a prominent player in 1970s New York game warfare. By the age of 17, he had witnessed his father lose his life in a bizarre Western-style quick-draw shootout, not long before being shot twice himself, fortunately escaping with non-fatal injuries. Green tried to escape gang life by joining the UBA boxing gym in New York, but by this time his ties to the street were too pronounced, as he was now hailed the king of New York street gangs by the NYPD for his role as gang leader in the deadly Bloods crew. 
Things slowly started to change for Mitch as his reputation as a gang leader was exceeded by that of a talented amateur boxer, the muscular 6 foot 5 big man that was racking up copious tournament success, including several New York Golden Gloves. From the Bronx, New York, undefeated in five professional bouts with one draw. Green took to the professional ring in 1980 and quickly started racking up wins over journeymen and fringe contenders such as Jumbo Cummings. Champion in I mean, he's hitting, you know, he's hitting some good, he's throwing some good punches, but I don't think you can go against Tyson, even, you know, if you're tall, that it really does not matter. You can be tall, you can be big, you can be huge, muscular, but if, you, if you've uh, seen, you know, if you watched, like, Tyson fights, you realize uh, he's so fast and he doesn't care if someone's short or he's tall, he's just... You know, if he wants to toy with the person, he's toying. If if he wants to knock him out, he's not. He's knocking him out. He's gonna knock him out for sure. In waiting, Trevor Burbick became the first man to beat Green in 1985, where Mitch made a good account of himself, only losing by majority decision. Both Tyson and Green were on the fringe of a world title shot. So City's on the left side, man. This is just enormous speed of himself only losing by majority look, decision look now. both tyson and green were on Jesus. the fringe of a world title tyson, shot man. so regardless of the antics the two were on a likely collision course the trash talk from green just helped build more interest in the fight which in turn certainly struck a chord with tyson who openly admitted to hating that ugly mother effort and mike tyson traditionally i think it's very bad idea to Trash talk Mike, man. Michael, I mean Michael. Mike Tyson, you know? No robe, no socks. He says it makes him feel like a warrior. Makes him feel like a gladiator. Man, I hate ads. Tyson met Green for the first time in May 1986 <laughs> at Madison Square Garden. It was Tyson's first match at a prestigious boxing venue and also the first to be covered by a large television network. Yet, the occasion didn't change the traditional no robe, no socks attire. He was all business and had a personal vendetta to settle with the now not so confident looking Mitch Blood Green. And was so much a factor in the last fight that we showed you here on HBO that he didn't double up. He just was a little bit lazy, especially in the later rounds. So we'll see what he does about that against Mitch Green. Always aggressive, right in front of his man. Now we see some head movement. Quick as shut. There's the left hook I was talking okay. about. He did draw a warning from Luis Rivera, the referee. Ooh, okay, okay. Here trouble. we go, here we go, guys. Good left hand by Tyson. Everyone has a plan until they get their mouth guard punched out of the ring in the first round. While mm -hmm. Green had all the phys mm -hmm. physical advantages, Tyson's supreme boxing skills and speed negated the gap. It's not going to matter if you if you look better or if you're just more jacked in the ring. You go against Tyson, man. He can either play with you, he can knock you out. ...in size and weight, backing up Green from the opening bell, slipping and countering, forcing the much bigger man into survival mode from where to go. Big right hand against Tillis, and what a shot! That is a... Man. And what a shot! Jesus. That is a... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, bro, look at this. Against Tellus, and what a shot! That is an awesome shot. Tyson punched out Green's mouth guard again in the third, where after he started mocking his opponent for having a wide, gulping mouth, stalking him across the ring, landing fierce, single power punches. Another big left hook. Hey, Tyson, there, good uppercut. He has to take a stand eventually. Another couple body shots. Well, he's smiling. Tyson is smiling, but see, Green has those fast hands. The fight became so routine by the closing stages, the crowd knew they were witnessing a foregone conclusion. I think, uh, you know, Mike Tyson wanted to toy with him here, honestly. If he wanted to knock him out, he was already, already going to be knocked out. But he's pretty much toying with him in the ring, so... Illusion. Tyson himself appeared to have his mind elsewhere as he bizarrely kissed his trainer, Kevin Rooney, while he was trying to deliver him intricate strategies and details regarding the fight. <laughs> well, Kevin Rooney is in there and just jabbering away 100 miles a minute. Mike Tyson leaned over and just kissed him. Tyson. I think he did that because, you know, he knows it's over, you know? He closed the show, trying to score. He knows he's going to win.
the knockout, but Green's disinclination to engage allowed him to grab and clinch his way to safety, resulting in him losing 9 out of 10 of the rounds on every judge of scorecard. Yeah, but we knew deep inside that I was going to win this fight so easy because of his style. He's a game tough opponent and he took some fairly decent shots, but as you know, I won comfortably and I didn't try for the knockout and I used a great deal of discipline in there. So guys, he says I didn't try to knock out. Knocking him out. Tyson claimed he carried I think if he wanted to do it, he was going to do it, but he never, he, he kind of wanted to toy with him because he was probably trash talking too much, as you saw a few minutes ago. Green the 10 round distance on purpose to punish him for as long as possible. And whether it was. See this throne? Jesus Christ, man, this is too much. Four hundred and sixty punches, man. And he landed. 282 and green uh you know through 314 and landed 130 bro with 41 percent tyson has 61 percent he basically decided to toy with him in the ring was true or not green's personal pride was hurt and he was willing to do whatever it took to restore a sliver of respect amongst his peers Green retired from boxing after the Tyson loss and returned to the street to earn a living from selling drugs. He always planned to one day get Tyson back in the ring, but as his years of inactivity ensued, Tyson progressed to one of the most dominant heavyweight champions of all time, undefeated and undisputed. The days of fighting lingering contenders such as Mitch Green were over. It wasn't until a couple of years after their fight that the two would meet again, this time in Green's element, the street. In the early hours of August 23, 1988, Mitch Green got wind that Tyson was shopping at a local clothing store close by to where he ran things on the street. Tyson had traveled a fair distance to pick up a luxury leather jacket handmade by one of his friends over at Dapper Dan's. As Tyson was chilling in the store with his entourage, I think Tyson, you know, if you... A street fight, man, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's Mike Tyson, man. He's going to smoke everyone. Mitch Green burst through the door on his own, high on angel dust, demanding Tyson either give him a rematch or empty his pockets right there on the spot. I think this this is the type of person who's gonna just, you know, this this like for example in school there are those kids who's gonna bully you so much and and you know and trash talk you or something whatever you do in life. I mean the results whatever you try and people gonna trash talk you and you just stay quiet and do your work. And then you get tilted and you decide to just punch him in the goddamn face. Tyson, of course, no stranger to altercations on the street, dragged Mitch Green outside and pummeled him to the ground multiple times. <laughs> multiple times, okay. Spectators said that the fight was short, violent, and very one-sided. In fact, it was no yeah, I believe so. longer than 15 to 20 seconds, but that's more than long enough. I mean, look at, look at the results, man. This is just amazing. You see, Mike Tyson, man, this is the reason why... This is the thing why you shouldn't be messing around with Mike Tyson. I also saw like a guy who was trying to, you know, provoke Tyson or something on a plane. And Tyson started, you know, throwing punches, which is, makes sense, man. Or he was punching his chair. I don't, I don't really know. For the heavyweight. I don't remember. That was like a few months ago. So I don't want to, you know, talk shit stuff like that's not true. So, but Tyson landed some punches on the, on the, you know, on the toxic guy who was trash talking him in the plane and you see you see what happens man that's just insane wait champion to inflict severe damage there is no footage of the fight regardless of the clickbait you see on youtube the only photo of the encounter but there were many accounts of what happened that all aligned all except green's account where he claimed tyson sucker punched him and ran i don't think so who threw the first punch here he did. He sucker punched me, cause he's with his friends, you know. And uh, when he hit me, and I said I couldn't get a chance to get to him like I wanted, cause everybody was like pulling me, you know, holding me, like so he could get away from me, and so he could get away. And he like he was, he ran from me. Green was certain the Tyson scuffle, which became mainstream news around the world, would add enough public intrigue to get his rival back in the ring. But Mitch had already burnt his bridges among the promoters in the sport, with his violent threats to Don King in the past already shadow banning him from ever earning any serious money in the ring again. After Green's failed attempts to get the rematch with Tyson, he filed a civil lawsuit for $20 million. You see, because 
he's trying to get him down, you know, at the worst possible level, you know, the worst possible stage. And you know that's that is not going to work for him in advance, you know. It's just bullshit, man. Due to the injuries he suffered during their fight, the former gang leader came away with one small W to coincide with a long list of L's, winning the case and being awarded $45,000. $45,000. Because he was provoking him and he, you know, made his eye huge. And then, for example, if someone provokes me right now, and let's say, you know, for example, if I'm a millionaire or something, and I punch his eye, the thing is, if he doesn't, you know, continue to fight, he has the right to sue me, right? And if he sues me, then he's going to win some... Not huge money, but he's he's going to steal the money, and that's his intention. So I don't really know what this guy's intention was, but he's a trash talker, as you as you saw, and it's kind of confusing, man. You shouldn't be doing this to Tyson. Close to what his purse was during their professional fight in 1986. Yeah, I remember seeing Mitch Green's eye after that. It was like he broke his socket, he broke oh, the eye happened? socket. Yeah, he broke his eye socket. The eye socket, man. Yeah, the Shit. eye socket. That's you gotta hit really hard to do some shit like that, right? Green returned to the ring seven years later, but at that point he was a shell of his former self and was beaten by journeyman with losing records until he hung him up for good in 2005. As of 2022, Green is still a large as life character, but now employs his energy into his love of Christianity. He still has a gripe with Tyson, but I think it's fair to say the two have now moved on, and whenever the topic is brought up today, they both make light of their infamous 30 year feud. That didn't work. The boy's scared of death. If you had the street fight, the boy's scared of death. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't, didn't y'all have a street fight, man? I don't know. Before the ring, before the street. Thinking the man would do somebody, he wouldn't do nothing. Oh, man, what? he freaked me out. Did you know that actually Tyson and Sal are good friends and he comes to the show? He knew. Look, look, look. Oh, there he is. Look, Tyson. You see that? He's going to go too much. Oh my lord, I mean, yeah guys, I might do some more Mike Tyson reaction, man. I just, you know, sometimes I just Google them, the fights, you know, and he's pretty much just, just knocking people out for fun, like, these combos, the movement, his feet in the ring, he's just insane, you know, the energy of it, out of him, is just... You know, if he gets mad, bro, it's GG. There's no point in, you know, fighting Tyson. Just get the fuck out. You know, swallow your fucking loose and just, you know, don't even get in the ring. Yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And feel free maybe to leave a like, maybe subscribe. And yeah, have a wonderful one day, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>